Thank you. Tony, thank you very much. Now, I met a friend of Tony's here tonight walking in who has a similar name, and he told me some things about Tony that I know are not true. And, and I can't repeat what he wanted me to call you. And I just want to share with Tony, I know I speak for the Republican Party on this, we support law enforcement. We're adamantly opposed to the idea that we would defund police and law enforcement. That's what the other side supports. You know, I'm proud to be here tonight with all of you to endorse and support our friend Don Bacon. And I want to share with you maybe a side of him that you don't always hear about, okay? And we're in some very difficult political times right now. As Congressman Bacon has said, it's toxic at the federal level, and it is. But here's what I want to share with you about Congressman Don Bacon. He is a person of incredible integrity who is going to put America and Nebraska first every single day. You know, here's a guy, I know most of us know his background, but he served nearly 30 years in the United States Air Force. The wrong branch, he should have been in the Army like me, but that's okay. Yeah, I, I just want you to know, this is how, the, how Air Force guys think, okay? Every single airplane that I went up in the United States Air Force, they made me jump out of that perfectly good airplane. <laughs> I never, I never came back in the same plane, but I, I appreciate what they do. But here's the thing. He served 30 years. He rose to the rank of Brigadier General. Now, I know a little bit about that. Like I say, I served in the Army. I graduated from West Point. Only the best of the best ever become a general officer like Don Bacon. And you don't do it unless you've got tremendous leadership skills, and you're a person of integrity. And then when that was done, you know, he could have just retired, sat on the sidelines and enjoyed life. And he said, no, I want to continue my public service. So he decided to run for Congress, defeated the Democrat incumbent. He's won every election since then. But here's another thing I want to share with you about what occurred. And think about this, because I don't know any place in America where this has occurred. Don defeated Brad Ashford. Two years later, Brad Ashford stood up and said, I'm endorsing Don Bacon over the nominee of his own political party. Think about that. That speaks volumes about Don Bacon and Brad Ashford. I know both of them really well, and we're lucky that we have people like that. So here we are, and, and I know Hal Dobb, there's Hal over there. Uh, Hal can speak to this from experience. So can I, he used to tell me everything I was supposed to do when I was his <laughs> chief of staff. But you know, the second district is the toughest congressional district to win in our state. It's not, it's not like the third, third district. I know the, uh, this state really well. Senator Fisher knows it really well. We've got an overwhelming Republican vote in the third district. That's not true here in the second. It's gotten more competitive every year. It's going to continue to be competitive. It's about 50-50 in terms of voter registration. And yet, Don Bacon has been willing to stand up and make the courageous and tough votes in the interests of America and Nebraska. He doesn't worry about the political consequences. He does what's right. And that's why I say he's a person of incredible integrity, and we are lucky to have him uh, in, in the United States Congress. Everybody else back there, I, I know what they're doing. They're arguing, they don't want to get together, they don't want to. <laughs> Uh, find ways 
to work together like we do here in Nebraska to move our country forward. And in spite of that toxic environment, Congressman Bacon is fighting every day for us, trying to find that common ground uh, to move America forward because we should never forget we live in the greatest country in the world today and we live in the best state in the United States of America right here in Nebraska. So I, I'm really pleased and honored uh, to be here tonight with all of you to support Don. Uh, it's going to be a tough race. They, they all are here in the second district. And like Tony and, and Derek, Derek have said, we've got to get out and we've got to do our job. And now it's just my personal privilege, I've been able to do this for a number of years and it's really an honor and privilege, to introduce the mayor of this great city. She is an extraordinarily outstanding mayor and won the race last time by a margin that no one thought she could win by. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of Omaha, Mayor Gene Stoffer.